Welcome to IAT channel and please subscribe to get our updates. Hello, great viewers. IPOB crisis. Simon Epa launches on radio. Does it mean uh, he had been using another person's radio all this while? On which platform has Simon Epa been broadcasting? His own platform, of course. So, what is the fools about uh, forming or starting his own radio? Okay, perhaps he has chosen to give his radio a name. Just like um, we have Radio Biafra. Remember the IPOB DS, DOS uh, refused him to use Radio Biafra platform and uh, flouted an order by Namdekano allegedly uh, because we don't we are not there. Um, MNK is not yet on public list, so we would know exactly what transpired. And let's even assume MNK Mazen Namdekano asked him to replace him for a while on Radio Biafra. But we heard he was bad because he refused to abide by the rules and all the, um, you know, there are certain rules for using the platform. I wish I had the opportunity to advise the IPOB DOS and I would have told them to handle Simon Epa with care because Simon Epa is a plus to the organization and he commands massive respect and have numerous followers in IPOB. He had been a good and a very good disciple of Mazen Namdekano. That aside, um, let's probably look at the news. I said IPOB crisis, Simon Eber launched his own radio and may form his own group. Is it a group within IPOB or entirely different from IPOB? What do you think? Anyway, as a leadership crisis, um, of the people, indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB sinks deeper. And members are, um, some of the members, not all, some of the members are considering jumping ship to avoid being uh, totally consumed by the inevitable crash. And the movement is said to be a split into several splinter groups. Each of the groups, groups, sorry, uh, laying claim to the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra. Uh, but the report has it that only two, only two commands uh, more followership: the Chika Edozium group and that of the Simon Eba faction. Chika Edozium is the head of the Directorate of State DOS. Uh, there is a powerful governing body uh, if it formed by Namdekano. Um, some pressmen say um, one of the DOS major principles is command and control mechanism. Well, what do you think? Chika Edozium is the leader of the DOS, but the current situation shows he may not command such powers as would someone heading the body. Let's not say Edozium is powerless, but um, he lacks the charisma and the gods of Namdekano. He's soft-spoken and more of an introvert, they say. One cannot really say why um, Namdekano appointed him to head the DOS, understanding that after him, there is no deputy again. It's just the DOS. Only Namdekano knows why he appointed a dozen. From some corners, it is said he wants a very subordinate person and not a rebel to manage the powerful positions in IPOB after him because there is no space for um, the deputy. Simon Epa, on the other hand, though um, so they say he's a one-man squad, uh, but he's an a complete opposite of a Chika Edozium. Even though he holds no position in the hierarchy. In fact, he was recently disowned by the group. 
But Emma wields more power over the members than the governing body, the OS, uh, by the look of things and what has just transpired. He's eloquent and he's charismatic and he's also charming. His autopilot movement seemed not to go down well with the current IPOB uh, setup, their leadership. The weekly Monday sit at home order is a perfect example. Simon used autopilot uh, to savage Edosium's command and control until the center could no longer hold. Uh, this was the last straw that broke the camera's back. If the massive royalty, um, the attention, the prestige Simon Eba attracts puts Edosium's pride in the coffin. The autopilot movement nailed it. It was a massive blow to not just Edosium but the entire DOS hierarchy. To checkmate this and clip Epa's wing, the DOS embarked on a campaign of uh, calumny against Epa. Radio Biafra, a powerful information house set up by Namikan, was hurriedly uh, shipped as if it was to be a battle tool to attack Epa's image. According to a source in the hierarchy, uh, the campaign was designed to force Epa to surrender his support base to the DOS. This could be the so-called conditions he was asked to meet. But Epa refused, insisted he would broadcast on the radio without any condition. Angered by his defiance, Edozium and his allies kicked him out of the station and subsequently disowned him publicly to humiliate him. But Mr. Eba already knew that was coming. Therefore, him in collaboration with his top allies mobilized to create their own live streaming platform under a bigger banner called Enter Biafra. Enter Biafra. However, we learned from a top source that the platform is the final step before Epa's own group is formed. Mind you, the source revealed that Epa didn't buy the idea of forming a sprinter group at first. But as things began to get clearer and persuasion heightened, he gave in. You know, I watched a particular video, I think I must show where he was teaching people how to use the app. Enter Biafra. Still on IPOB matter. Hmm. Presidency accuses IPOB of stockpiling weapons in Nigeria, killing police, military. Fulani Hesmen, bandits are carrying sophisticated rifles about and it didn't really worry the presidency that much. Their major worry is IPOB. President Muhammad Buhari has accused the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB of stockpiling weapons across Nigeria. Buhari spoke through his mouthpiece, Gaba Shehu said, IPOB members killed security agents and set government facilities in the southeast ablaze. He stated this in response to claims by the Amnesty International on human rights violation in the southeast. According to Shehu, the Amnesty International was backing a terrorist organization against victims of IPOB. He said, had it been this group is in a Western country, you would not expect to hear Amnesty's full-throated defense of their actions. 
IPOB's call for the breakup of Nigeria had led to some members of the group allegedly uh, resorting to civil disobedience, he stated, adding that lately attacks on security agents and facilities in the southeast had been linked to IPOB and its militia arm, the Eastern Security Network, ESN. Despite the connection, he further stated that IPOB had severally uh, denied any claims of its members attacking security agents and facilities in the Southeast. IPOB had, however, insisted that its members rely on peaceful approach in the push for Biafra. Root boy of the Peace Square fame, Paul. Uh, wants Nigerians to mind their business amid his divorce. Paul Okoye, widely known as Root Boy, has sent a stern warning to Nigerians to mind their business. In an exclusive interview with a media personality, Dotun Paul stated that it is disturbing seeing people say whatever they want about his family. According to him, his family problem is nobody's business, and the Okoye family deserves peace. He said people have refused to let him breathe after the news hit the net. At least uh, they should allow this divorce in peace, or uh, is it changing his mind? Anyway, speaking on the negative comments surrounding his marriage, he confessed that uh, nasty comments and advice from clueless people were annoying. He made it clear that they should back off and let him deal with his family issues in peace. Though he didn't confirm the divorce or when it will be finalized, Rude Boy said they are adults who are capable of making their own decisions. He also revealed that he is a family man and he would have preferred if Anita had zipped up about her private affairs. He added that what happened is just a thing of choice and one thing one needs to do is try and respect people that wake up one day and say they don't want to do anymore. Okay, um, uh, Paul of the Peace Quest fame is telling the people to allow them to divorce in peace or settle in peace. Um, you people are talking more than the people who are intending to divorce. Uh, is it your own divorce? <laughs> is it your own divorce? Oh, my God, help that family anyway. That family is... Well, you are talking about the split, how to unite these twins. And we are, here, we are hearing that one of the twins and his wife again, oh God, help this family. Anyway, viewers, add your comment. Tell us what you think about the stories we share. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't and click on the bell icon to get our updates anytime it drops. I'm Azuka OJ. Bye for now.